Uh, good morning. <laughs> McKinley here at today's unique place, the Greater Niagara Frontier Council of the Boy Scouts of America. Where inside their Genesee headquarters, they have a museum dedicated to the history of scouting. Remember that Boy Scout motto, be prepared? It looks like you're prepared for anything in here. We are, we are. We have uh, folks of all ages that come in here, uh, old and young, to look at various pieces from maybe when they were a child. Or well before that, as some of these items date back more than a century, including the highlight of the collection. It's probably the World War I uh, complete scouting display we have of all the pins and badges that were available during that time. And that, and that dates back to 1916. And we also have the Eagle Scout badges uh, from the beginning of time uh, when we started honoring those young men. And folks like to come in here, especially Eagle Scout alumni, and see which badge you know, most closely resembles theirs. Like many museums, they have more stuff than they can display at once. We do. We have a dedicated museum committee that comes in here monthly to rotate some of the items out that we do have. But that does not mean they're not still looking for items. And we have people that clean out their basements and attics from their dads and their grandpas. And we had a, a, a young woman come in here and give us a, a scouting cup that her father or her grandfather won back in 1913. And it's here on display. And all this stuff is donated from people's personal collections. A lot of the stuff ends up in garage sales or just simply gets thrown away. And uh, please don't do that. We definitely have a spot here for it. And we need those types of items. The museum inside the Boy Scout headquarters on Genesee near Harlem is open to the public during regular business hours and is free of charge to visit. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News, Sunday Daybreak.